As you can see, the question is asking for the stationary point, so your dy over dx should be 0. And I'm going to rewrite the equation in indices form, so it's easier for me to differentiate. So I'm going to differentiate the equation using the chain rule. And that would give me 1 minus 36 3x plus 2 power negative 3. And now I'm going to do 1 minus 36 over 3x plus 2 power 3 equals to 0. And then I'm going to make the denominator the same. And when I shift 3x plus 2 power 3 to the other side, it will still be 0. Then I'm going to move 36 to the other side. And then I'm going to cube root 36. So our x would be the cube root of 36 minus 2 over 3. I'll put that into my calculator and that would give me 0 0.434 but since the question is asking us to round it to two decimal places it would be 0 0.43. Now that we found our x we can find our y by just substituting our x into the y equation and that would give me 0 0.98. So our coordinates is 0 0.43 and 0 0.98. Moving on to the next question, it's asking us to find the area of the shaded region. So I'm just going to redraw the graph on this corner. To find the area of the shaded region, we would have to integrate the y equation. So we would have to integrate x plus 6 over 3x plus 2 power 2 dx and then we could just split this up so it's easier for us to integrate. And then I'm going to simplify it and that would be x squared over 2 minus 2 over 3x plus 2. And because this is a definite integration, you just put in your x values. And that would be 2 minus 1 over 4 minus negative 1, which is 2 minus 1 over 4 plus 1, giving us 11 over 4, which I'm going to write as a decimal.